Good evening and welcome to our night prayer. I'm Terence Russoff, Curate of Christchurch. And we begin with our preparation. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And we now have a period of silence for reflection on the past day and bring before the Lord those things we need to ask his forgiveness for. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have wandered and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things that we ought to have done, and we have done those things that we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. But you, O Lord, have mercy on sinners. Spare those who confess their thoughts. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises, to declare to mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O merciful Father, for his sake, that we may live a disciplined, righteous and godly life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. And receive God's forgiveness with these words. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. We now have a reading from Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will your nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, O Lord, who make me dwell in safety. And our Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 1, verses 16 to 20. Jesus calls the first disciples. Passing along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, who were in their boat, mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. It's striking what Jesus looked for in his first disciples, or rather what he seems to have paid little heed to. For he had no apparent interest in their education or background or prior training for the role or even ability to fully understand everything he said. So why did he choose fishermen? Well, we aren't told his selection criteria, but what is clear is that he valued personal qualities. To be a successful fisherman, you need to be energetic, patient, a team worker, a good learner, committed, courageous, able to deal with failure like catching nothing all night. And with these base qualities and attitudes, they could then be taught all they needed to know and carry on 
Jesus' work and then be fishers of men. And the same goes for us. Jesus is most interested in our character, qualities and attitudes, not what paper qualifications we have. Above all, are our hearts for him? Are we committed to him? Will we put him first? That's what these fishermen were prepared to do. Will we do likewise? We continue with our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you had redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Well, we now enter a time of silence where intercessions and thanksgiving may be offered. And during the silence, your intercessions might cover the world, our nation, our community, our loved ones and ourselves. And we bring our prayers together and pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And I'll collect. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we conclude with these words. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. <laughs>